music, music, family, food, football, fashion. That's why I call my life the life of Groovy, as I might call it. Um, my life has been filled with ups and downs, different colors. As a uh, popular US rapper J. Cole once said, there's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. That's a classic and a unique phrase. Now, um, some people know me as a model, others know me as a businessman, others know me as an artist. This one time in 2020, a customer walked into my store, um, he bought some clothes, but before he left, he asked me why I ventured into music. Um, he said that, he said that my music, that even though it was nice, he didn't see it as something that I could pursue, that I could continue. Um, he felt like I, it was a waste of my time, because I ventured into it at the time when there was a pandemic and also there was a protest. So anyways, I had a couple of people coming up to me, trying to discourage me from going into music. But as the person that I am, I am always determined to prove my doubt was wrong. And at the same time, I believe in myself a lot. So what did I do? I kept on working. I kept on working. I kept on working. And, um, and I put out an EP last year. Now the EP, I dropped this and I had like a listening party. Now with this listening party, I made it a point, a note, to invite every single one of my deltas to my listening party, including my friends, to prove something to them, that Groovy is more than what they think about me. I'm not just a businessman. I'm capable of achieving so many things. They came to the listening party, they enjoyed themselves, they ate chow, and then they left. So, <laughs> ate chow, and then they left. You know, um, I always have this discussion. <laughs> and it was more than enough to say goodbye to confidence. A constant reminder that my input wasn't valued, needed, or even worth considering. This is a unique and classic story. At the end of the day, when I land in bed, or anywhere the night meets me, wondering. This is where I feel like Alice, <laughs> LOL. How did I get here? How did I allow myself to become an affirmation of the things I used to hear, the negative things? J. Cole once said, the good news is you've gone a long way. The bad news is you've gone a long way. Wow. Um, I spent 365 days trying to prove a point that wasn't much more than an argument. This was different. My reality had now turned into entertainment. See my life, oh. My state of being and how I would react to being harassed had become the order of the day. This has gone beyond just standing in a line and waiting to hear, nice, nice. The answer was simple. Oh God, just leave. You know what to do, just walk out. But how do you expect action from a bitter experience from a Lagos Island boy who had to suppress his inner thoughts? Because of shirt and tie, I had to comply. I discarded my truth, I started to live a lie. My guy, the story where they tell you he paid me die. Why? One of the questions where I, one of the questions where they make me cry. But hard guy, hard guy, as cheesy would say, you have to do better. When I reached the point I couldn't when I reached the point I couldn't take it anymore. Actually when I reached the point I had no more to give. Not suggestions, not opinions, not even a piece of cutlery. Do you get? It had reached the point where I could even. It had reached the point where I was even offered a slap in the office. So, but I chest up. I laughed. I cried. I knew this was my final lap. Come rain, come sunshine, come beautiful colors. I knew this was going to be my final lap. This is the time for me to focus on my life's roadmap. It's crazy how time flies. Sometimes, sometimes, but something, something butterfly. Potato is a type of food that also fries. It's okay to laugh. I just